Salwete, welcome to Beginner's Latin Lesson 19. This is the second and final lesson on third conjugation verbs. Third conjugation verbs come in one of two forms. Those which have an I stem or IO in the first person present tense form, such as capio, fugio, and iacio, and those which do not, dico, duco, and mito, being examples of these. Here is how we conjugate regular third conjugation verbs. Legere being the example here, which means to read. Lego, I read. Legis, you singular read. Legit, he reads, she reads, it reads. Legimus, we read. Legitis, you plural read. Legunt, they read. Here is how we conjugate the IO variant third conjugation verbs. Here the example is capere, to flee. Capio, I flee. Capis, you singular flee. Capit, he flees, she flees, it flees. Capimus, we flee. Capitis, you plural flee. Capiunt, they flee. Here are three examples of sentences which use third conjugation verbs. The verbs are in bold. Pause the video and see if you can translate each of these sentences. The first sentence is Milites Romani opida inimicorum capiunt. The verb here is capiunt, meaning they seize or they capture. This sentence translates as the Roman soldiers Milites Romani, capture or seize the towns of the enemies or the towns of their enemies, opida inimicorum. The second sentence, Pueri libros legite pater dicit. Boys, read the books, the father says. Here we have two examples of third conjugation verbs, legite and dicit. Legite is a plural imperative meaning read, and dicit is a third person singular third conjugation verb, meaning he says. So the father is telling the boys to read the books. So the sentence translates as, boys read the books, the father says. For the third sentence, we have scriba volumina regi mitit. The writer sends the scrolls to the king. Here the writer, scriba, is a subject, so in the nominative singular, Volumina is a direct object, that is what's being sent. This is an example of a third declension plural neuter. And we have regi to the king. This is the dative of a rex, which is another third declension noun. Now time for a quiz. You will see the four principal parts of a third conjugation verb. You will also be given a number, singular or plural, and a person, first, second or third person, and your job is to give the correct present tense form. For example, if you're given capio and first person present tense plural, you should give the answer capimus, which is the first person plural form of capio. So here's the first question. Dico, dicere, dixi, dictum. Second person singular. The answer is dikis. Next we have facio, facere, feiki, factus. Third person plural, they. Faciunt. Falo, falere, fefeli, falsum. Second person plural. Falitis. And finally, cupio, cupere, cupiwi, cupitum, first person plural. Cupimus. Thanks for watching this lesson. I hope that you found it helpful.